Today I'm going to go over vocabulary used to describe bacterial colony morphology. When grown on an auger plate, bacteria and fungi form colonies. The colony morphology is a description of the appearance of the colony. Each kind of bacteria and fungi have typical appearances or colony morphology, but colony morphology does not identify an organism alone. It can be used to distinguish a mixed culture from a pure culture, but again, it can't identify it alone. Only pieces of data from colony morphology can help identify an organism. So I mentioned a pure culture and a mixed culture. It's important to know those differences when asked to find the morphology of a colony. Again, a pure culture is a culture that contains only one type of organism, whereas a mixed culture is one that contains more than one organism. This page comes from page 44 of your lab manual. It says typical colony characteristics for bacteria include, um, then it says form. So form would be basically the general shape. So again, overall shape there. Here you can see a list of different shapes that it would take or forms. Next would be elevation. So elevation is basically how raised it is or the height. Or level that it comes at. Next would be margin. So margin again would be the edge or border. And then if you come and look down here again you can see how the elevation like it was in the form there's different types of elevation there's different types of margins that there can be too. So this is the edge or border and this would be the height. And then we have optical properties. Opaque would be if it was not transparent or seen through. Translucent would be that it allows light, so it's semi-transparent. And transparent means that light passes through it. So basically, optical properties include um, how it reacts or how it can be seen with light. Texture, we have soft, we have Granular. Granular is basically how grainy it is. Then we have tenacious, and that would be how it clings or how it adheres to something. Um, mucoid is basically how it resembles mucus. And basically, to find the texture of a colony, you have to use an inoculating loop and kind of touch it to see how or what texture it would take. Um, pigments, you can have a white, you can have an off-white, or you can have a light beige, a pale yellow, a golden yellow, a pink, and, or an orange. Or you can have several different colors, just say what color it is. Um, and then you can have other characteristics such as the diameter or the radius, you just basically say about what size or shape, um, size of the shape it forms. So again, these are all a list of different things that you can use to describe a colony. We're going to use this streak plate to practice colony morphology and identify the appearance of these colonies. We're gonna go through the page um, 44 to help us to identify or characterize the bacteria. So again, this streak plate is a pure culture. Its overall form or shape is circular. Its elevation is either raised or convex. Both would probably be appropriate in this case. So again, elevation is how raised or high the level it is. And the margin, it's entire throughout because its edge or borders are circle. Its optical properties are opaque because light is not translucent through it. Its texture is soft and you can um, test that with an inoculating loop by touching it. And its pigment is what's really going to make it stand out or identify this organism because as you can see it's very unique and it's um, a yellow color. Other characteristics you can use is to measure the diameter but as you can see there's going to be a variance in diameters based on the different colonies.